What's going on guys? Adam Snyder here with The Homemade Entrepreneur. Today I want to show you how to make money on YouTube with no subscribers. You probably have a new YouTube channel. You're probably somewhat new on getting videos out. What do you do when nobody is watching your content? You have no subscribers. How do you start and how do you make money on day one? Now I have a trick that I've been using for a while and it's very effective. But the first thing you got to do if you want to make money on YouTube with absolutely no subscribers, gotta smash the like button. Do that now. Let's jump into the video. So, what do you do? Now, the hardest part is getting views, right? It doesn't matter what niche you're in, doesn't matter what kind of content you create, it's all about getting the views. But, and if you want to make money, you have to get the views. But how do you do that? Now, here's something that I've been doing lately and it's been working extremely well. Now, I'm gonna show you. Uh, when I did this on this channel, on the Homemade Entrepreneur channel, one of the last videos I did, it was called Essentialism, A Disciplined Pursuit uh, of Less by Grant, Greg McCown. Now, here's the cool part. This video was published on a channel called 1% Better, who has currently 259,000 views, or 59,000 subscribers. You can see it down here. This, this was produced by me, Homemade Entrepreneur. Now, what I'm telling you to do and what I'm doing right now on some of my other channels is I'm creating content for other people, putting it on their channels, and then all I'm doing is having a link. Okay, I'll show you right here. That's exactly what I did here. I have a link back to my channel. That's the first link. But down here, okay, this is a, as a, an affiliate link to Sparkle, which is the software that I'm using right here. Okay, this is the software I'm using. It's called Spark. It's called Video Scribe by Sparkle, and uh, this is just me. I'm talking over it. You might be able to see it right there. Anyway, okay, but that's me, and this is a great strategy that, if done correctly, works 100% of the time. So here's how you do it. Now I know a lot of people are going to ask, "Well, I don't have very many subscribers. Nobody in their right mind is going to let me publish a video on their channel if I have zero subscribers." And this may be my first video, and I'm gonna try to stick it on a channel with 200,000 subscribers. It's just not gonna work. Let me tell you this. When I got that video published on 1% Better, he had, I think it was a little bit over 100,000 subscribers. Okay, over 100,000. My channel right now, as of shooting this, I'm like 500 subscribers away from 100,000. When I published that, I was at like 20,000. Okay, which kind of leads me to the next thing. Make sure if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help me reach 100,000 or more. So what you do, and this is something that works, again, 100% of the time. Okay, If you want to make money on YouTube with no subscribers, no views, you can. But you need to publish your best content on another person's channel. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, So the first thing you got to do, you got to find the channel that you want to you know, publish your content on. So let's say you are talking about... Um, you know, uh, vlogging on an iPhone. Okay. How to vlog on an iPhone. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. How to vlog on an iPhone. The next thing I want to do, if that's going to be my topic. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I want to find a channel that doesn't have, you know, a million plus subscribers, has something probably under, you know, 50,000, uh, definitely under 100,000, but kind of go around there, especially if you're just starting out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and see. So look at this guy. Now, he just created his video a week ago. So that's not going to work. Okay, how to vlog on iPhone 11 Pro or older. He's not going to publish a video on how to vlog on iPhone when he just did it a week ago. Okay, but what I could do is, you know, uh, I could do the best apps for publishing or vlogging on an iPhone. And all I'm going to do is I come to his channel. So let me show you what I do. So I come to his channel right here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pause the video so it doesn't run. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on his name right there. Okay. Once I click on his name, I'm going to come to the about page. Okay. And I'm going to see his email address. So I click on that and I click the robot and hit submit. And then it will show me his email address. Once I have his email address, I would send him an email and let him know my proposal. Now you're probably wondering like what would be in a proposal? Like what are you going to say to try to convince this person to let you create some content for their channel? Now it's actually very easy. So here's what I always do. 
Okay, first you just want to introduce yourself, introduce yourself. So let them know who you are and kind of what you like to create content on, what your your experiences in, and then see if there is any type of content they've been looking for that you could possibly create for their channel as a guest vlogger. Now, the best part about this is not only are you asking them for their ideas as what their their audience is looking for or what their their next video topics might be on, but you can also throw out some ideas of your own. For example, he just created a, a video on uh, how to vlog on an iPhone 11, okay? You know, pro or older. Now, if you were to say, you know, I just watched your video on how to vlog on an iPhone 11 pro or older, I think a great, uh, great video for your channel would be some of the best apps to use as a vlogger on the iPhone. You know, would you be interested in that? Uh, I was thinking about creating it for my channel, but I'd be more than happy to give you that content as long as you put a link back to my video and maybe an affiliate link, you know, inside the description. That's it. You don't even have to bring up the affiliate part. Just write, uh, as long as you put, you know, send one link to uh, my, my channel and then another link to the product that I'm recommending. That's it. And then once they are like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Then after you get the dialogue going, that's when you tell them that the one link will be to the subscribe page on your channel. The second link, which you can put down, you know, farther into the description, that will be an affiliate link to the product, you know, whatever that I'm recommending. The other tip that I have for you guys when you are trying to come up with an idea, one of the things you can do, and first I highly recommend this, you come over here and you look at every single video that he's ever done, right? And just see if you tell him, okay, I'm a, I want to do a video on a great um, telephoto lens for the Sony A7 III, okay? I want to do that. You know, would you, uh, would you mind putting on your channel? Well, if he just did this and this was three videos ago, what's the likelihood that he is going to accept that? and say, yeah, let's do another one when he just did it. Okay, it's already there, he doesn't need another one. So be familiar with the channel that you're gonna uh, ask to put a video on and also be familiar with the type of style that they have. If your style and their style are completely different, then they might not really uh, be interested in that as, a, as an idea, as you as a guest vlogger, okay? So that's one thing. Second thing, one of the things that I like to do Okay, I'm going to sort by most popular for this guy's channel. Okay, if you want videos and you want to learn about, you know, travel and filmmaking, go check out his channel. Okay, but let's say how to make iPhone videos look better, right? So I'm going to click on that because I want to come up with different ideas, right? So I just clicked on that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here into the comment section and see what other people are saying. There might be a question here that they need answered but he hasn't done the video response on it yet. So I'm gonna come in here, need to save up for that Filmic Pro app, okay? Um, let's see, and let's say somebody's like, you know, great stuff, but that's too expensive. What are some alternatives or cheaper alternatives to your know, Filmic Pro? And that's where you could be like, hey, what are some you know, cheap alternatives? Um, cheap alternatives to Filmic Pro. Let's see if that something comes up. A moment app versus Filmic Pro. Best video camera apps. Okay. Uh, is Filmic Pro still the best mobile filmmaking app in 2019? Okay. So you can see how this will kind of, you know, uh, grow and give you more ideas because as you are looking for it through their, their comments, one of the things you're going to notice is a lot of these people, a lot of the commentators, the commentators have the same question or similar question. And because of that, you can come in and kind of, you know, create a video around what everyone's looking for. And so then when you send out that proposal, all you got to do is bring it up and mention to them that, hey, I was watching your video on, you know, how to how to do a, a vlog on an iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, I was reading one of the comments in one of the videos, you know, previously, and somebody was asking about Filmic Pro. Is that still the best app? I would love to do a video review on it and just put it on your channel. If you're interested in that, please let me know. Um, I'd be more than happy to create it, send it over to you for approval first. And then if it does meet your standards and you like it, then you can publish it on your site. You know, all I ask is you, you know, point one link to my channel and then you second link to the product that I recommend. That's it. That's your proposal. Okay. And it's so simple. Now, one other thing I want to show you. Um, 
So let me go, let's go back. Um, here we go, how to vlog on iPhone. So let's say this is the guy that we're trying to do, uh, trying to put some videos on his uh, channel for. One of the things I could do, okay, is being that's vlogging on the iPhone 11, I'm gonna come to every single one of these channels that again, that's under hopefully 50, but preferably under 100 at least, okay? Uh, sub thousand subscribers, so him, I click on, it's Naya, I click on Trey uh, Canterbury, um, let's see, I keep coming down, Kalo's World, uh, Lily Adlin, and I just keep coming, okay, keep going down, you know, Mike Chudley, and just keep going to every single one of these channels, and I'd send them the same proposal, except I'd cater the proposal to their actual channel. Don't try to send it and say, hey, I just watched your video on vlogging, I would love to create a, con a, a video on that, you know, for your channel, uh, if you don't mind me doing that or something, uh, just let me know, and you can also include a sample, like, here's a sample I did and put on another channel, uh, I'm going to create a, a video very similar to that one, uh, it's just on this topic, you know, let me know what you think, but if you are just general and you say, I want, I watch your video on vlogging, there, and, and I've done this before as well, it's like, that's more of a, a generic uh, email, if it says, hey, I just watched your video on how to vlog on your iPhone, five tips for beginners. It's an incredible video. Absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved tip number blank. You know, it was the best I've ever seen. Okay, something like that, that really shows that you watch the video. That's how you get people to engage, but also accept that proposal. So one thing I just want to end with, when I created that video on essentialism, okay, I ended up making about $400 off that one video. Okay. And that was, that was one video, $400. On a, on a channel that I didn't own is a, is a piece of content, a video that I, I gave to somebody else. And so they could kind of, you know, do with what they want with it. But they gave me the link back to video, video scribe, which that's where I made the money. And then they also helped me get more subscribers by putting my channel link up at the top of the description. Okay. Those are two ways you can make money on YouTube with no subscribers and absolutely no views to start. All you need is the desire to create the content, the effort to reach out to other people, and just know that guest vlogs and guest videos do extremely well. You just gotta reach out and find the right people, because I guarantee you, half the people that you send an email to will not respond. Half of those people that respond will say no, and half of those people that do say yes are gonna not like the content that you just created for their channel. So, if you send out 10 emails, chances are, one of those people will allow you to post that video on their channel, okay? So that is how you can make money on YouTube with absolutely no subscribers and no views to start. So if you have any questions on the strategy, let me know. You can always ask your questions down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and like always, I'll see you guys on the next one.